Hey Pascal here again and in this tutorial I will show you how to animate smooth zoom transitions so that you can not just zoom in the middle of the shot but also to some other parts of the shot and don't look weird while doing that because when you zoom in another part of one clip and the next clip is actually zooming in the middle then it looks kind of not not that you want it like that. So here we'll show you how to get rid of that. The tutorial is done with the plugin M Transition Zoom from Motion VFX. It's a great plugin, but it costs a bit more. So you have to think of if you want to do that or, or not, but you definitely need the plugin for that, just to mention it here before. But let's first watch the intro and then I will show you a bit better what I exactly mean. So this is a part of a video that I was cutting last week and also publishing about the beautiful island of Kopangang where I'm right now. And here's the transition that I mean. So as you can see, it's like it has a zoom transition from the window to the palm tree. And I will remove that transition now. So as you can see here, when I'm in the last frame of the other video is that the palm tree is pretty much to the right. So if I would apply the M transition now, the M transition zoom, it's a custom zoom in effect, then it would simply zoom in the middle. See that now? I will act deactivate my color correction first as it slows the footage down. So that's the LUT, yeah. Okay, now it should work a bit better. So, I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but the palm tree is to the right and not in the middle. So, the nice thing here is that we can actually animate the center here. So, I will add some keyframes. So I will first go to the place where the last frame. So, <laughs> Let's just go to the middle and one frame later. And I remember that the palm tree was around in that direction here to the right. So I will set my center point to around that area where the palm tree was before. And then I will set a keyframe here. So, and let's watch how it looks now. already looks a bit better but what's a bit weird about it is that it goes to the right but the palm tree then is in the middle so let's get rid of the clip again so what the effect does is it goes in that area but then when the effect stops the middle of the palm tree is in that area right so I will readjust my keyframe a little bit here the right one yeah okay great let's get rid of the clip again to see that better so now my keyframe would be around here but when the other clip starts i want to have my zoom here and that's where the animation happens so go to the middle and one frame again so here's the keyframe and now i go like a few frames further i think I think I did three frames before. One, two, three. And in three frames, you can already see that here is the palm tree, the new one, and the middle of the palm tree is obviously here. So it automatically set a new keyframe here. Let's go one clip back and reset it so that we are, we are always in the middle of the palm tree. It sets the keyframes automatically. You don't need to worry about that. Okay, and now it stays in the middle here with a palm tree and now let's look how it looks now. Looks much better, right? Because now the zoom goes with the palm tree. So zoom transition starts here. You can clearly see how the zoom is zooming to the right here and not just in the middle of the frame. Now I move further, further, further. Still zoom stare. I mean, I would actually say because like here's a transition between a 
those clips right now. So I would actually say that already here, I could set the keyframe probably yeah, not too much. Uh, no, let's leave it like that. Yeah, here it's moving already. But as you can see here now, the palm tree stays always in the middle and that's how the actual zoom, if you would film that with a camera, would be. I mean, the zoom would still stay in the middle all the time. I mean, you would first like switching your camera or something and zoom to that spot, but it would then stay always in the middle. And that is what I try to animate here. And as you can see now, it looks much better. What you can also do here is, um, of course, you can decrease the blur a little bit. I mean, it's really much blur right now, so I think that probably looks a bit better. So if we look at that. Yeah, that's great. So I think you understand what I want to do here. I don't want that the second clip looks like the it was suddenly moving like in the center or something. Now we want to have a really smooth transition where it actually looks as we really zoomed inside there and of course we didn't but now it looks like that so the m transition zoom plugin from motion vfx is a very nice plugin but, but as mentioned before it's a bit expensive so you should think of if you want to get it or not i would recommend that because that is really nice but what i don't like about that plugin is that you cannot control the amount of the zoom so in some other plugins like from ryan nangle for example you can do that i will also link the plugin here so that's a bit better sometimes because when this the zoom is actually pretty hard so when you don't have a so far zoom like now out of the window then it sometimes looks a bit weird so i, I would really recommend for smooth zoom transitions to have multiple plugins because with the one plugin you're able to control the amount of zoom and with the other plugin you're able to control where the zoom goes so of course you cannot combine that plugins unfortunately but at least you have one plugin that you can potentially use for every case so that's here for my tip on how to animate the zoom transitions the smooth zoom transition effects so i really hope it makes your videos a bit better in the future especially your travel videos because those effects are perfectly for travel videos and yeah if you like that video and you want to have some more tutorials like that then please hit the subscribe button now and see you in the next video